Hey, what's good, BT Gang? And we back with another banger, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning in as always, man. I'm BT, and welcome to BT Sense, man. Today we got a very, very special fragrance. But before we get to that, man, I hope y'all feeling good. Hope y'all smelling good. I hope all the money's coming in. I hope the New Year's resolutions are still intact. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hop into it. Today we got a special surprise from Man Sarah. And if you know me, you know I've been talking about this fragrance for so long. I got to get my hands on this DNA. I got to see what all the hype's about. So I finally got it. I got a couple wearings. I also did the first impressions on this one. But this one is called Mancera Tonka Cola. Mancera Tonka Cola. I got this decant off Fragrance Swap on a Reddit group, which has great, great prices. Great. Oh, man, this smells so good, man. Great prices, great deals for a low, low, low price, uh, budget, man. So definitely check that out if you're looking for good prices. Fragrance Swap on Reddit, bro. But yeah, let's go ahead and hop into the notes on this fragrance because this one has been hyped up by a lot of people, and I want to let y'all know what I think. So at the top, we got some cinnamon. We got cherry. We got a uh, Sicilian lemon. We got nutmeg. Then in the mid, we got Coca-Cola, patchouli leaf, and orange blossom. And then in the base, we got tonka bean, vanilla, benzoin, and labdanum. So... Reading the notes, you can kind of tell what this smells like, right? Like, I hope I don't have to say it, but I'm going to say it anyway. This literally smells like a sparkling, fizzy, cherry cola with a lemon in it. You know, like when you go to a restaurant, you get a, a Coca-Cola or a pop, or I'm saying pop because I'm from the South, but or a soda, and you put a lemon in it, and it's just like fizzing, and like sometimes the bubble hits you in the face. Like, you know, I don't drink soda, but everybody knows that feeling. And then you drink the soda and it kind of rushes down your nose and like you feel like a fire breathing dragon. Or maybe I'm just weird. That's exactly what this reminds me of. And I know that sounds so weird because you don't know how to describe that to somebody who hasn't smelled his DNA. And every time I watch a video about Tonka Cola, I just wouldn't get it because you first you don't think that's possible. Like the fact that you can make something smell fizzy. And then like, it's just, it's weird to think that some, a fragrance can smell like Coca-Cola. So I had to get my hands on this. And boy, boy, was I not disappointed. This stuff is good. So let's go ahead and hop into the longevity. So the longevity isn't bad, but when you hear man Sarah, you think about uh, Sadrat Baze, you think about Instant Crush, you think about Red Tobacco, you think about uh, Aoud Lemon Mint, like beast mode type scents that you can probably dang near get 24 hours out of. This is not a 24 hour fragrance, but what I will say is that it's an eight hour fragrance, which will get you through the day. And personally, I don't think you really need anything more than eight hours. That's me personally, but some people like 24 hour scents for some reason. I think eight hours is more than enough. That's a whole full work day. You in there, you show up, you'll get the, your max projection first one to two hours, which is an arm length. And that's pretty much going to be your biggest compliment window, you know. And after that, you know, it kind of dies down. Not complete skin, but it has a nice bubble around you. Because as I was wearing this throughout my work day, it was like six, seven hours in. And the coworker was like, oh, what are you wearing today? Because they know, like, I wear Ferguson's at work. They're like, oh, what are you wearing today? And I was like, uh, man, Sarah Tonka Cola. And uh, she was like... You know, they don't know what that is. So I was like, yeah, so it's supposed to be like a Coca-Cola fragrance. And she was like, wow, like, yeah, I get that. I definitely get it. And I was like way like farther down on the dry down so, where like the cherry was gone and the Coca-Cola was kind of dying down. And it was getting more into the taco, the sweetness and the vanilla. And she still got that uh, taco cola vibe from it or Coca-Cola vibe from it, which is cool. But it's not going to be a, a crazy man Sarah Beast mode fragrance. But that's not what you really need from this. This is really, really like a moderate projector, which is not bad, but which is why I think it's, it's versatile. Like I, I think a lot of men series aren't as versatile because they're so freaking strong. Like red tobacco was so strong and uh, instant crush is so strong that I wouldn't fathom wearing those to work. But I definitely think you can wear this to work, but also you can wear this to uh, special occasions, which is like where I go to my next topic. When I did my first impressions on this, I said this was like a holiday party type of feel, which it is. But I also experimented and wore this to work, as y'all know, as I just told y'all, and it did great in that uh, uh, performance as well. Really, really good performance. Like I said, eight hours, modern projection, seven to eight hours, really, really good stuff. And this is the part that y'all want to hear about. It's a decent compliment getter, man. Like, I wasn't expecting this to be so mass appealing. Like I said, I got a comment from that coworker that was like, it smelled really nice. And as I was leaving work one day, somebody was like, I'm sorry, I have to ask, what, what are you wearing? I was like, uh... 
It was meant Sarah Tonka Cola, and obviously didn't know what that was because it's a niche fragrance. So I um, I typed it in their phone, and they were like, oh, thanks, bro. Thank, I appreciate that. And what shows, unsolicited compliments don't come often for me, man. I don't know about y'all, but for me, and I wear fragrances every single day, like, I rarely get one of those. So that's when I knew this was a banger. That's when I knew this was the real deal, and I'm definitely going to have to get a full bottle of this. But it really, really shines in that compliment factor. You don't expect something like soda y to smell good. You know, when some people think about soda, they think about kids and sweet and sticky. No, this is totally, totally different. You got to get your hands on this, and it's not anything I can pretty much describe to you. You just got to experience it on your own. Definitely unisex fragrance as well. I think this is more for the fall and winter. I, would, I was saying before that it was more of a night scent, but after I wore it to work, I think this can definitely thrive in the a, in a daytime as well. So don't worry about that too much. If you had to ask me what rating I would get this fragrance, I would probably go 8.5. I had high expectations for this. It met those expectations. It did well in what it was supposed to do. Got me a couple compliments, great longevity. I think the price is not too bad either. I think you can get 125 mil, which is 4.2 fluid ounces like uh like a hundred dollars and that's that's crazy pricing especially when you consider that this is a niche house so definitely keep that in mind but i definitely say this is like an 8.5 out of 10. really really like this fragrance man and, and it has that vanilla sweetness and taco bean at the bottom this to top it off man and quote unquote put a cherry on top of uh this this fragrance man but yeah i definitely want to check out uh i think it's a mirror they have a cherry cola type fragrance i think it's a clone of this one I want to check that one out as well. I've been staying away because I've been hearing the performance is not to the standards of a Mancera Tonga Cola. So if it's not going to perform that well, I might as well not even check it out in my opinion. That's just how I do things. But definitely, definitely check this one out, man. Tonga Cola is really, really good. I think you should get your hands on it and at least try it out, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If y'all do, let me know down below. Also, if you had that cherry cola, let me know down below. And if you have this one, let me know down below. And let me know your experience, man. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. Y'all stay blessed. Peace.